Hi, I'm Ashley Nickel with the Packer and Produce Retailer. We have joining us today Jeff Lyons, the Senior Vice President of Fresh Food for Costco. And Jeff, we wanted to talk to you, of course, because you all just recently wrapped up a campaign called Grow the Good that focused on promoting uh, fresh produce that's been certified by the Equitable Food Initiative and carries that um, responsibly grown farmworker assured label. Now, obviously, there's there's some different options for social responsibility certification. What was it that um, that kind of stands out about EFI to, to you all at Costco? Well, sure, Ashley. Thank you for this time to discuss this. Number one, EFI is something that's been born out of probably about five or maybe even seven years of hard work by a lot of people. We found that there was a void in the industry uh, that was just not consistent with the culture that we have at Costco. At Costco, our mission statement and our code of ethics all deal with taking care of our employees, taking care of our members, but also respecting our suppliers. And that goes all the way down to the people that work in the field. And as you know, there's been a lot of concern over the years on uh, people that maybe are, are less fortunate, maybe they don't speak our language, maybe they don't know the rules of, of the countries, that they can be taken advantage of. Uh, they can be charged fees that, that are not appropriate. They can be mistreated. I mean, all those things are inappropriate. We don't want them in our supply chain. And so, therefore, we wanted to try something. And so, we went out, got a lot of smart people together. And we said, okay, what is it we can do to help these individuals to keep them safe and make sure that they are, are being rewarded or paid for all this hard work they do? You know, if we didn't have these farm workers, I don't think our crops would be harvested. So it's really an important part of the business. So as we got together, uh, we put some good groups together that uh, are very concerned about individuals, uh, individual rights, safety, um, all those things. And we had to revolve it around a business model, though. And actually, it's real important because if it doesn't have a business model, then it's not going to be sustainable. Yeah. So the business model we looked at with uh, Eric Nicholson and Arturo and some of the great people that we have, have dealt with was a productivity model. In other words, we need to teach these farm labor uh, people the things that are important to us. And the expectations are that by doing the proper amount of teaching, giving them a voice in the operation, that our productivity gains would go up. And as you know, in business, a lot of times business is about leverage. And leverage in volume makes great sense but also leverage and productivity. So if a farm worker is more educated, if a farm worker has been given the proper tools and given the great training and given whatever they need for that job, then they'll be able to do that job a little better and that's leverage and that helps us reduce costs, but we don't necessarily want to reduce costs from the standpoint of, of delivering a lower price to us necessarily. We'll take care of that with low margins, but we want to do is give that money back to the farm worker. And so that's the whole model. We felt it was a weakness in the system. We didn't think it represented Costco correctly, and we got to work on it. Gotcha. And what kind of indications have you all seen from shoppers that, that this is something, you know, that they want to know more about social responsibility practices of, and, and how do you educate them, especially when something like EFI, there's, there's so many different standards that have to be met. How do you kind of synthesize, here's the essence of the program, here's some compelling details, and you know, really educate them about what that label means? You know, that's really difficult. As with anything, uh, the consumer is bombarded with so much information today. How do they know what is right? How do they know uh, is, is, are, is the issue on pesticides as rampant as they think? Is it less? Mm -hmm. I mean, there's so many issues. Uh, in this case, what we wanted to do is bring it to the attention of our members. And by using social media and our friends at EFI, uh, we were able to deliver a, what we felt was a concise message. We're not real big at Costco on advertising or telling people what we're going to do. What we'd rather find is that our member discovers what we are doing because it's kind of who we are. Uh, we don't want to boast. We don't want to say those things because everything is a process. And we know that there are other uh, institutions out there currently working on international standards, and some of those are, are quite good. Uh, not all of those were present five to seven years ago. Oh, sure. uh, as all of us start to get into this sector, 
there's a lot of good people doing good work. Other retailers like us uh, are out there working real hard to make sure that this supply chain, the people, not only the, the, the goods, but that the people are being cared for. Gotcha. And what have been the, what have been some, what, well, we'll talk first, I guess, about the, the promotion you all did just recently. What was kind of the response that you all saw? I saw some social media posts and I, I'm sure there was activity in store as well. What was kind of the response you guys saw to that? Well, a lot of it is surprise. You know, it's just people aren't aware. Uh, and so they said, oh, I had no idea. And the topic is so complicated because of some misinformation that's put out in, in the media today because you're dealing with different things. You're, diff you're dealing with illegal immigration, but this is all legal. This is H2A. These are farm labor people that want to be here. And when the consumer says, oh, you're, you're trying to make sure that they are trained or, oh, you're trying to make sure that they're, they're paid a fair wage, they really respond well to that. And they oftentimes, when they deal with Costco, they said, well, I, ex I expect that of Costco. And so that is part of what drives us. Our member does expect us uh, to hold ourselves to a high standard, and we do try to do that. It is not easy, and we're not perfect by any means, but the response has been very positive. And many people, you know, what they came away with is, I need to learn more about this. And so then they're able to go to the EFI website and discover some of the things that are going on. Mm -hmm. And as I was watching um, the, uh, the video, I think you all had worked with uh, an influencer who, who interviewed a couple of the, the suppliers you all work with who have that EFI certification. One of the things they mentioned that was interesting to me was they have, you know, the different companies have representatives from their farm workers join in the discussion basically with the committee with the rest of the company on, hey, you know, here are some things that are going on, here's some things we might do better. And then they send out a report that kind of keeps everybody in the loop, including your farm workers. I'm, I'm curious what kind of stories you've heard from the suppliers who are EFI certified about the difference that, that makes in their business. It's amazing. When you ask the people that are doing the job how to do it better, guess what? <laughs> some really good answers. And it, it's one of the things that's missing sometimes in business. I mean, even in, in, in our business here at Costco, if we forget to ask the folks that are doing the job, you know, hey, what are the complications? What, what difficulties are you facing? We'll, we'll never get better. So number one, management needs to listen. And we knew that. And going into this, you sometimes have a, um, a language barrier. Uh, but you have to find a way to reach out to that farm labor and say, okay, we want you to be part of the solution. We want you to be part of making us all more productive. We'll invest in you. Would you please invest back into our business? Because it helps the farmer. If the farmer can get people into his field and they want to come back because number one, they're treated fairly, they're paid appropriately, and everything's working, they can count on those employees coming back time and time again. So some of the stories we've heard is, have actually been very uh, prominent. Uh, well, that's probably a bad word. Have, have been very touching, let me tell you that. There have been uh, female labor workers that have just broken down in tears thanking us and, and the suppliers that uh, we work with for the safety they feel in working under the EFI guideline because they have a voice and they feel safe in the fields. That's a big thing to all of us, and we really uh, found out that there's sometimes, in many cases, there's not a lot of safety, especially for females. Uh, so there's those kind of issues. There's others where um, we had this one recently where somebody had made a, uh, a challenging uh, video of something that was taking place on one of the farms that we uh, received product from, and it appeared that things were going inappropriately. Uh, the uh, farm labor group, the EFI group got together and they went out and made their own post. They said, this is not accurate. That is not what is transpiring here. Let me tell you what was taking place. So they were able actually to defend the farm, defend what was being done as a normal practice, whereas somebody else was misrepresenting it. So mm -hmm. we, we've got a lot of stories. Uh, we get uh, thank you cards periodically uh, from some of the labor uh, for the, because they do ex, actually um, get extra pay. And some of that pay helps to pay for childcare. It helps to pay for gas money. Uh, it's just, there's real positives here, Ashley, and it, uh, it's a good thing. It's the right thing to do. 
and uh, we need to continue to do more and more of this. Well, that, that's a great segue, Jeff, into my next question, because I know obviously you guys have a number of folks, um, suppliers who already have the certification. Are, are you hoping that more people get certified or how, how much do you see this growing in, in the coming years? Sure, I, you know, we would like everybody to be involved in one program or another. We, we want to be careful. In every situation, one glove doesn't fit. But we think everybody should make it, this a priority in their workplace because it it's, helps their brand. It helps who they are. I can tell you that I've talked to some of the owners of some of the processes, and they turn around and say, this is one of the best things we've ever done because we have more employee uh, supplier management engagement and they're being much more successful so yes our goal is to have every one of our suppliers involved in one of many opportunities that are out there we think EFI is a class of its own it's a gold standard we'd like to see everybody doing that but we'll accept other um, uh, uh, processes or applications if they meet our guidelines so they have to meet what we're looking for. It can't just be something that glosses over and you sign a piece of paper and says, bam, we're there. No, mm -hmm. it's gotta have teeth. It's gotta be able to be audited. It's gotta be real. And if it is real, then we'll accept it. And as you mentioned, there's several different, different um, social responsibility certifications for just product in general, because I, I know, you know, food safety standards are, are common for retailers and, you know, all kinds of different, hey, like this is the baseline for doing business with us. Is there something like that either for you guys or in the broader industry yet when it comes to social responsibility? Or is that something that maybe we'll see down the line, do you think? You know, that's sneaky, Ashley, the chance. <laughs> but <laughs> no, there's possibility. Um, it's, it's challenging industry. You know, you brought up food safety. Now, the one thing that all of us know who are in the food safety uh, area of our business, realize that food isn't safe. There always can be cross-contamination. It can be done anywhere in the cold chain. It can be either on the way to the, our location for sale. It can be done in the consumer's home. Food safety is such a huge topic that we spend an enormous amount of time trying to make sure that we provide the highest quality products to our, our members. And one of the ways to do that is to start with a farm worker. And so by starting with the farm worker and explaining to them what food safety means to us and having them in the field looking for those things that we feel could be a concern to us, it might be something as simple as bird droppings. And if they're aware that bird droppings could be a food safety hazard, you and I might walk in that field and that field could be several thousand acres or several hundred acres. And you and I have two eyes each. Mm -hmm. We can see so much. But what if 300 workers out there with each of their eyes are looking for the same thing? Now we've got 600 sets of eyes all looking for the same things to help our members be as safe as possible with the products they provide, they buy from us. So it's a broad spectrum uh, of things we're trying to accomplish with this. So yes, I'd like as many certifications as we can, but I don't want to have a certification that just checks the box. That's not good enough. This is work and it, it's hard. And we all know that it can't be 100%, but we've yeah. got to try our very best to make it the most robust, the strongest, possibility to protect our members, their children, their grandchildren, because remember, at Costco, our families shop with us as well. Talking about our, our physical families, my grandchildren, everyone. So we're doing this not just for the members, but for our own families and for everyone. We want people to be safe. We want them to get wholesome products. We want the farm labor to be paid appropriately. We want a good system where everybody shares in the right things. Well, I know, as you mentioned, that there, it seems like, like you said, when you guys started, started EFI, there, there weren't as many other options. Now there are more options. It seems like a topic that we're hearing, you know, consumers be more aware of and, and seek out some of those labels more. How have you seen just kind of consumer awareness change, even in the last five years where they're kind of thinking, oh, you know, I, I kind of want to know a little bit more about what that process looks like. Well, it's, you know, it's really obvious in investment communities as well. 
So we have a lot of people that invest with Costco in, in our stock and they'll come in and they want to know what we're doing in some of these areas because okay. they're concerned. They are um, investors that kind of have a heart for certain things. It, it might be uh, for farm labor, it might be for something else. Uh, but we find it not just from our consumers, but also from the investment community. As far as consumers, again, I, I would just say that they need to do their homework because there is misinformation out there. There are things that sometimes just always seem to want to paint the bad picture and don't want to paint the solution. There's an old saying that the person that says it can't get done should not stand in the way of the person doing it. Mm -hmm. So all of us need to do something. And if we can all collaborate, and in this case, food safety is not a secret. We will share with any competitor we've got if we understand something that would help the, the community in large from mm -hmm. a food safety instance. We think that by being, uh, I guess, by exposing a little bit of EFI and a little bit of this on social media, that what it might do is help pique the interest of other people or consumers that ask other um, retailers that maybe they shop with, say, hey, what are you doing? And then maybe they come back and they say, oh, we're certified ISO, ISO, and maybe it's a 9,010 or whatever the number is. They have a lot of numbers. They can go <laughs> online and say, okay, what does that stand for? And so it's education, it's getting awareness out there. And once we have awareness, I think then the community, the community of people start to get involved and say, okay, I think this is a good thing. Uh, I'm gonna vote with my dollars. I'm gonna shop in these areas. So in essence, retail will have to move in this direction because number one, they're not gonna let Costco get away with being the only one doing this because they'll see it as we have a, an advantage. And so, okay, well, let's compete then on doing good things for the farm labor, doing good things in food safety. It's a good place to compete. Definitely. Well, Jeff, I, I think that's about all I had for you. Anything uh, you think we missed or anything else you wanted to add on, on the work you guys are doing in, in EFI? You know, the, the thing I would probably add is the hard work that the team at EFI is doing they're out there talking with the farm labor. They're going to the farms. They're doing all this hard work, heavy lifting. We've got our suppliers that are kind of, they've got to embrace change and that's hard, but you know what? They're doing it. And so I'm really proud of our suppliers and I'm proud of EFI and all of their, their people. Uh, there are so many great connections here, Ashley, that uh, it's a real positive thing and it's good for the, the world in general the world as a whole. So exciting. And thank you for our time to talk to you. This is a little intimidating speaking <laughs> into a camera, but uh, hopefully, hopefully we covered all the bases. Excellent. Well, Jeff, like I said, we so appreciate you joining us today. Um, great to kind of, kind of hear the details and, and the thought behind uh, everything you guys are doing with EFI. And I'm sure there'll be more down the line. So we'll, we'll talk to you again at, at some point down the road here. Thank you very much. Have a great day. Thanks so much, Jeff.